What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going back to Atlanta. I'm going back to Atlanta, I am so excited. This is my first time back since I moved away after three years living there. Right now, I posted up in a pretty crappy days in in Jellico, Tennessee. Jellico, Tennessee is the first city you hit going south on I-75 after you get through Kentucky. And this hotel was the only option they had off this exit. So we're, we're making do, we're making do. I've been working all day, uh, posted up here with my, my workspace. Working from a hotel is so incredible boring that's all I've had today to eat and drink is one Snyder's pretzel dips and two Arizona green tea let's go ahead and get on the road back to Atlanta by the way guys have you ever seen if I get my freaking backpack shut have you ever seen green carpet in a hotel like even the crappy ones have you ever seen green carpet guess what this one is green carpet not just in the room but outside in the hallways as well I guess the owners here just love green carpet because look at this look at this look at this green carpet Hi guys, back in Atlanta, we we're posted up at the Staybridge Suites right in Midtown on North Avenue. Pretty cool spot, pretty cool spot. Got a, uh, a full kitchen over there, nice bed, and then check this out. I was not expecting, I just booked the, the basic room. Let's see, how do I open this? Oh, they actually, they locked, look, they locked the balcony. So I guess you used to be able to access this balcony. Actually, I think I've heard stories from this hotel, either this Staybridge or the Crown Plaza, which is literally the same building. I think people have been doing bad things on these balconies. It's Atlanta, man, everything goes down. So you literally cannot open this screen door anymore. But this carpet is not green. Cue the intro. I forgot, I, I forgot to cue the intro. So now, cue the intro. Quick 20 second voiceover, bit of a rainy day in the city that night, but was not gonna let that ruin the party. Headed over to New Realm Brewery across the street from Pond City Market. I would say this is this is definitely top three bars for me in the city just because of that amazing view from the roof right there. I've been to a lot of breweries across Atlanta and across the country, really, and this one is near the top in terms of atmosphere all the time. So tonight we celebrated my dude Kylan. You're out of here, right? Last weekend in Atlanta. Are you already recording? I I am already oh recording. Yeah. <laughs> Last weekend in Atlanta, he's going to law school in Orlando. You know, give a give a you know like a 10 second summary of that. I'm open to the possibilities, yeah. whatever that may be. I'm leaving it open. Yeah, you've been in Atlanta Thank God like, for everything. Three years. Three Atlanta, years. Three years. Same time I moved. Pretty yeah. much. We met uh, probably two years ago. Yeah. Of the three years you've been here and kept in touch ever since. Got a lot of a lot of nice beer together here Love in New it. Realm. I'm gonna visit you in Orlando. I'm, I'm telling YouTube right now. I'll be there. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be there. I'll be there. I don't know how well you can see this, but it is about 12:30 in the morning right now, and there is still a traffic jam on I-75, 85 right here. Traffic in Atlanta just never stops. It's true that when they say Friday rush hour starts on Thursday, like that's that's accurate. I drove into Atlanta and I knew I was back in the city when I was sitting in traffic, like taking 45 minutes to go eight miles. <laughs> that's one part I don't miss about Atlanta. Other than that, I uh, I, I do miss living here. I get to it out the runway. Different incomes not one way. Living life on a one way. So I'm in Atlanta just for the weekend for work. I came down here for a work event. If you didn't know, when I moved back to Cleveland, Ohio, I stayed with the same company that's based here. And I'm fortunate that I work with a really great company, a small company of just like 15 people. My bosses are understanding and flexible where they let me stay with the company, but to move back to, to Cleveland and work from there, coming back to Atlanta maybe five, six times throughout the year. All my buddies are asking me like, dude, why would you not fly? Why would you drive 11 hours? And the answer to that is because I waited till last minute because I'm dumb. By the time I looked, it was like 48 hours before I had to leave. And and round trip flights were $450 ish, which is crazy because when I book an advanced Cleveland Atlanta round trip, I can get it for like 200 bucks max on, on Delta. Well, it's a good thing I did anyways, because this global IT power outage, whatever is going on. I know multiple people right now who have gotten flights delayed or stuck at the airport. So you look online, especially Atlanta airport, it is just like shut down. Everyone's so pissed off right now. So thank God I drove here. Anyways, I am back in Summerhill. Let me show you the old crib. This is where I lived this past year.
here before I man that's right before I moved out a month ago. This is Bexley Summerhill, this apartment complex right there. And my specific unit with Skylar was this one right here, that corner unit to the second one from the top. Had a pretty good experience here. At least we did until about three months left in our lease, and then everything just like went to to crap. So uh new management came in, and ever since new management came in, the elevators were always broken, multiple entrance doors were always broken and locked, the gym flooded, management just wasn't wasn't nice at the front desk trash laying around all over the place and 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 to top it off we found multiple mice uh, running around our apartment Scott and I got pissed so we left multiple bad reviews on their Google website and management saw them and got so pissed at us that when it was time to renew our lease or get out our renewal quotes was $300 more per month than what we were paying even though online the rents when we moved out were like $150 less than what we were already paying that's how bad they wanted us to get out of there but it was a good experience overall I gotta say um, we look at a big picture I think Summerhill here is probably the best part of the city it's really revamped itself over the last year or two it really looks beautiful lots of stuff going on and the Publix right here this is the best grocery store in the city no question about it You already know what it is. I could not leave the city without going to the Salty Donut. The Salty Donut are, have the best donuts in the city. And I've had a lot of donuts here. My dude George got me on this maybe six months ago. And ever since I took a bite out of their brown salt donut, which is what this is, I became like a changed man. Look how good that looks. Salty Donut, you already know the rules. And though this is probably the 150 donut I've had from here. Mm. 9.5 out of 10 every single time always hits the spot highly recommend over there at Krog District but dude I almost got another boot on my car again I can't tell you how many boots I've gotten in the three years I lived here it was nine bucks to park for an hour and that was the minimum and I literally just parked for three minutes to run in get the donut and dip as I was walking back to my car the parking dude was gradually pulling around the lot headed towards my car because he probably saw me park and then walk out with uh, without paying for it so dude these these parking dudes here in Atlanta have, have nothing better to do I guess does not matter what day or time it is if you hop in the car in Atlanta be prepared to sit in traffic You guys remember Zeke and Zeus? If you remember Zeke and Zeus, you are OGs of this channel. So Zeke is my brother's dog. He was probably in, I don't know, my fourth or fifth ever video a couple years ago. I've known this dude for a long time. How old are you now? Like eight or nine? Yeah, he's he's getting up there. He's, uh, <laughs> he always loves seeing Uncle David. And then Zeus. He, he doesn't like Uncle David as much. Just kidding, I think he does. Zeus, you like Uncle David, right? So we had Zeus maybe a year and a half ago or so. Uh, Skylar and I just watched him for two or three weeks in our old Midtown apartment before my brother adopted him also. So you got Zeke and Zeus, two, two Zs. At first, Zeke didn't like Zeus at all, but they've, they've come to be best friends and brothers. Back in the suburbs, uh, visiting with my brother and some family, I think the older I get, the more I appreciate the peace and quiet and time away from the city. Uh, living in uh, downtown Atlanta, I had a phenomenal experience over three years. But by the end of three years, I was pretty much done. Uh, I was pretty much done with the city and the traffic and, and the noise and the crime. Um, I love going out there and all my buddies are there. But as I get older, you know, priorities change and, and your mindset shifts like that. I think if I would have stayed in Atlanta a fourth year, I really would have gotten bored because after three years um, I feel like I did everything there is to do there in the city um, my dad always liked to say get off the elevator when it's going up not when it's coming down so I, I'm glad I, I am glad I left Atlanta after three years it'll always be fun going back uh, multiple times throughout the year like I plan on but I'm I'm pretty over living there but I learned a number of things living there and I think the the number one thing that I learned was just how to work hard everyone in the city of, of Atlanta is grinding and hustling most people have some kind of side hustle 
hustle. So that 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 grind mentality I really instilled into me naturally just by being there for three straight years. So I take that into my job, doing well in my job. I, I switch jobs to a commission driven job where the harder I work, the more I put in, the more money I make. I found my side passion in soccer coaching and I am trying to learn something new every single day with, with coaching. I want to be the very best coach I can be. I put out a YouTube video every single Monday for 40 years now because I'm committed to that. My work ethic increased so much just by being there. So one piece of advice, I think if you have the opportunity to go live in the middle of a huge urban city, it doesn't need to be Atlanta, it could be literally any city and experience that grind nature. Do your time, one year, two years, three years, four years, and then get out. Um, you'll, you'll really learn a lot from doing that. Just drove all the way back to Cleveland from Atlanta. It's about 10 and a half hours uh, plus stops. So I leave 12 hours every time I make that drive. It was basically 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I am dead tired right now. I can't even I can't even hold up this camera with my arm hardly. But nice little trip to Atlanta. Enjoyed it a lot. Uh, good to see my old buddies and visiting the uh, some of the old spots in the city. I did see one article recently that said Atlanta was actually the most overpriced market in the country, which in my opinion is probably true because we're not near any body of water. Usually coastal cities cost more and we're not like a tourist city. I don't think anyone really comes to Atlanta on vacation. So why is Atlanta so expensive? I have no idea. But anyone who owns a home has probably double, tripled their, their home value in the last couple of years. They better sell while they can. But let's wrap this up. Before I fall asleep, I'll be back in Atlanta multiple times throughout the year. So stay tuned for more. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. If you could drop me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. As always, guys, work hard. Be nice to people. Got a bug in my head. Gee, that's like a spiderweb or something. See you next Monday. Going up, going up, going up.